I feel like I'm forgetting something. No flowers, no roses, no chocolates. Damn it, how can you even look at yourself? This has to go right, Tom. You cannot fumble another girl. After all, your track record's taking a hit, but maybe it's not you. Maybe it's Tinder. It can't be me. Maybe it's Tinder though. It can't be me. No, it's not me. I mean, you do look good in a suit. You're a lucky guy, Tom. You're blessed with good looks, and she's very pretty, this one, and a smart girl. One I can take home to mom. I can already see it. The veil, the white dress, coming down the aisle. Baby steps, whoa, baby steps. The first one has to go right first. Don't overthink it, but don't underthink it. Just think it's going to be good, and it'll be good. Just think perfect, and it'll go perfect. I feel like this is a breakthrough. After all, I, I know a lot about her. Her name, her relationship status. Wait a minute. I don't know anything about her. Oh my god, I'm going to get catfished. It's going to be a big ugly dude instead of this bombshell. No, I wanted to host Catfish with Neve, not be a victim. No, no it will not, Tom. You're gonna have a great time with a beautiful girl. You're not gonna have Tinder trouble. Tinder won't fail you, it never does, right? Cindy's gonna be the one. Cindy and Tom. Sindom. Tomdy? Oh, we'll figure that out later. Come on, you're running out of time. Don't fuck this up. <sighs> Buddy, if you can't get lucky on Tinder, you're doomed, man. It's all downhill from there. I mean, come on, man, seriously. I mean, normally I go on dates, I sit, 
same speech, the same scary life questions, same interests I bring up, but with you, everything just felt natural. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, it's quite scary when you get into the real deep stuff, so I'm glad you opened up. I feel like you've been keeping a lot of the hidden for some reason, though. Like what? I mean, I'm an open book to you now. <laughs> what do you want to know? How has your love life been? Any crazy eggs I should worry about? Or long lost lovers? No. Everything ended really smoothly. Nothing to worry about from my background. Not at all. ended pretty rough. You see, I got a big heart, and sometimes it's used and abused, you know, and it's not for lack of trying. I mean, one time I showed up at a girl's work and brought her flowers, and she's like, what the fuck are you doing here, Tim? And my name's Tom. It ends up being an office meme. But, uh, no, we all make mistakes anyway, and oh, I was with girl for a really long time, and she was just the love of my life. She was just, she said she'd never leave, and she went away, and she was supposed to come back, and she never did. So, I guess there is the one that got away. I mean, I don't know what to do. This online bullshit clearly isn't helping. I mean, should I message one of my exes or... No, I mean, none of them want to hear from me. Clearly. Uh, I wish I could go back to when we were together and just fix what's clearly broken. Oh, I wish I could go back. <sighs> Anyways, enough dreaming, Tom. You gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> thinking that we could go on a trip to, wait for it, Paris. Look, it's a city of love. Cause oh. I love you so much and I want to go to the most romantic place on earth with you to celebrate our anniversary, June 11th, 11 a.m. Yeah, why are you saying anything? Uh, that's exciting. I just, my work schedule's been crazy lately. I, I mean, I actually think that would be, it's packed all summer. I'm working all summer, actually. <laughs> Sweetie, okay. Do you remember right now you're unemployed? Wait, what? I'm unemployed? Yes, don't make me laugh. It's not something to be screaming out loud, you know. What the fuck? 
is going on here? <sighs> Do you know what the hell I did wrong? I mean, I know I said rewind time, but why start here with one of my worst memories with Faith? I mean, Faith was lovely, but when you talk about moving too fast and super clingy, that was her. She generally wanted to get married, like, right away, and she said she loved me after, like, two dates. I know. Crazy, right? <sighs> yeah. I screwed up. You see that girl on the phone before? That may or may not have been my job interview. <sighs> her name's Ruth, and things are pretty hot and heavy with her. I've been seeing her on the low key for about three months now, and in not too long, Faith is gonna get hurt. Oh, listen, you gotta see this for yourself. Anyway, good luck with your job interview today, and we'll talk more in pictures. We can take in Paris together later. I just don't want to hurt her. Have we done that? No, Ruth, don't be angry. I'm just saying it. What? At some point, you're going to have to make a decision. I've changed. I've changed a lot for you. I was, I was outside the beautiful day. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. But I kind of like him too. Well, what do you want me to do? Leave her? I don't want you to do anything at this point. You know, just get your shit together and give me a call. Then we'll see if I can. Ruthie. Don't! Ruthie. Okay? If you don't like me that way, then, you know, just, just say something. Okay? Don't try to clear your conscience now. Call me if you go.
thanks for finally picking up. Hi, so I, uh... You what, Tom? You ended things with Faith? Yeah, we're done. Okay, and did you do that for me or for you, though? Is it because you want more of what we did, or...? Well, I wouldn't mind if we could still... Oh my god. Okay, Tom, you're, you're terrible. I mean, I knew, I knew that you, you had issues, but I thought that you were still a good guy. I actually thought that we had something special, but you're just an asshole. What are you saying? Like, I'm trying to make us work. <laughs> us work? Or you? Like I said, you need to figure yourself out. I mean, I, I like what we do, and I like you a lot, but you really need to be single for a bit. But Ruth! Some would call this rock bottom, and I completely get that. I was a complete asshole. Faith went on to marry a very nice guy that she met when she got back to the dating life with a solo trip to Paris. And Ruth, well, I hope she finds what she's looking for, if she's even looking for the one. To be honest, I'd love to still, you know, but uh, after that day, I only contacted her on birthdays and holidays. Like, we're cool. She still cares for me a lot, but what I'd really like, more than anything, is just to apologize to both of them for everything I put them through. <sighs> I wish I could. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? <sighs> no, this is exactly what I asked for. Okay, this is the chance I wanted. Okay. Not the same bullshit from before, Tom. You have your reasons, but make them good. Don't be a dick. Oh, I hope they understand. Oh, come on. What the hell is going on here? I'm getting a chance to fix it, and it's, it's kind of nice, but it's also at the same time, it's terrifying every single time. And what does all this mean? I mean, am I going to have to go through every relationship I've ever had and try to fix every single thing? Or is the whole world just turning on me? <sighs> well, first of all, Thank you two for coming to this meeting or supper or whatever this is. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, listen, Faith, first of all, I just want to say, like, I'm really sorry. Like, I, I did love you. And, you know, the way you love, it's so pure and so generous and you're so caring. And it just, it just felt like, for me, it was a lot. And I, I didn't want to hurt you, but at the same time, I was... I was, I was a little bit nervous, and knowing that you'd gone through all the effort of planning this trip to Paris, and that you loved me so much, that I just started to feel really guilty, and the whole experience made me start wondering what I wanted. And it wasn't that, it, it was Ruth. And Ruth, your fiery energy and your spontaneous little jokes and all the times that we share, I really liked that a lot. And obviously our physical connection was something that I was kind of missing with faith to be honest, and so I was really thriving that as well, but then recently I started asking myself, what's, what's going on here? I'm really ruining these people's lives, and I realized that what I was doing to you, I wasn't doing out of love either. I was kind of doing it out of spite for my situation, and I'm just really, really sorry, and I want you guys to know that I was, I was confused, and I was lost, and I was, I was somewhat hurt, and I mean, it's, I know it's not, I know it's not enough and it's not exactly what you guys want to hear, but it's just, I care for you guys so much and I was hoping that after all this we could kind of figure something out and, you know, maybe one day we'll, maybe one day we'll look back and we'll kind of, kind of be able to laugh at the irony, like, I was unfaithful to faith and ruthless to Ruth. <laughs> well, it's not, I mean, it's not funny and it's too soon, obviously, but, um, listen, I was wrong. I, I was wrong, okay? And I'm really, really sorry to both of you. 
and I never wanted to hurt your feelings like that, Faith. And I just hope that at some point we can get back to being friends before we became bitter exes. I mean, Really? Mm -hmm. I'm with someone now who would oh. never treat me that way. I love him so much. <laughs> Almost as much as I loved you. Tom, you were my first love and it still hurts. I think I'm going to always love you a bit. I can't help it. But I know that my love is worth a lot more than that bullshit that you put I know. That's all I have to say. I know. I'd also like to apologize to you, Faith, um, for, for the part that I played in, in the pain that you went through. I should have I should have been able to hold myself accountable and not not let him take control of the way that he did. As for you, Tom, you know we're okay. a lot of work that you need to be done and I did tell you to find yourself and this is it's a good start so good on you um, but there is still work to be done and I am I am proud of you I am thanks Liz Ruthie oh cool <laughs> well thank you so much and uh, Faith I'm Sorry again, I'm really happy to see you're with someone and maybe someday I can meet this lovely new man of yours. Okay. That was a lot. I feel like I just ran an ex's trauma gauntlet. Oh, can we please go back to a time when it was easier? Like when I said I love you and meant it? Oh, no, it's going to be good. I didn't even burn anything. I made a really good breakfast this time, and we still have time to eat together before we go to work. I hope you're close by. Oh, you're already here? Enough said. What's up? Whoa, what? <laughs> what's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good, you look beautiful. Thank you. As usual, just for you. Come on in. Right. Mm, love what you did with the place. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, sorry to drag you out of your comfort zone at home, but, uh... Did you say comfort zone, baby? <laughs> Tell me, you're my comfort zone. What oh, are you talking cute. about? <laughs> well, if you're going to be sticking around, I was thinking, you've been spending a lot of time here. I was thinking I could clean you out oh, your own drawer. Wow, amazing. And you remember this little guy. Yes, of course. You got it for me at our first date, at the carnival. Oh, you still remember. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Come sit. So, what's the plan? Well, I'm really glad you're spending more time here. I know. I was thinking, cause, you know, because I was going to be here more than one night, you know, I was thinking, like, maybe we could get more close and everything. Well, you know? we could do that. I mean, I think we're at the stage of our relationship yes. where you're staying more, mm -hmm. and I love you so, so, so much. I don't think that's possible that you could ever love me more. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a high-end university. I mean, your parents must be so proud. I'm, I'm really proud of you, too. Thank you. Yeah, they're very proud of me. But, you know, they're pretty worried that I'm not exactly close, you know. Well, how far is it? Exactly, um, 3,178 miles away. Well, that's yeah. a little but ways. Don't worry. I'm going to talk to my parents every single day. I'll be in touch with you as well, you know. I'll, like text you, call you, email you, write you letters, send you doves, anything, okay? I'll be in touch with you every single day, baby, okay? Because I know that long distance sucks, but... But what? We can still make this work. Well, yeah, but the thing is, I'm going to be gone for three years. That's a long time. And I don't want you to be stuck here missing me, 
you know, or missing out on all of the, those wonderful things you wanted to do with us before I had to go away. Babe, think about all the memories and like, it's just a matter of time. After a few years, you'll be back and we'll have everything we had. That's the thing, Tom. I don't know if I will be back. What if they want me to stay out there? Or what if you meet someone new? Or what if I meet Babe, someone new? You know that... I love you. I love you so much, but... But what? You keep saying but. Quinn, come on. You act like you're going to leave everything we have. Like, you act like you're just choosing to do something else. It's... This is not easy for me to do, Tom, okay? Listen, something really big is about to happen for me that I've been working so hard for my entire life. I'm going away to school. It's not like I'm going out there to look for other guys, okay? How could you think that way? I'm not out there to replace you. I'm just going to... No, I Just understand. Just cool. I understand. I and I'm really, really happy for you. And I don't want to hold you back, but at the same time, I, I don't want to let you go. I know. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do as well. You know? But I care way too much about you to not see you be happy and, you know, get something better or get something Babe, better. Babe, stop saying that. You act like you're going to find something better. I'm not going to find anything better. I'm not even going to be looking. You don't know that. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I know that I'm going to have to leave. Do I want to? I know you have to do what's best for your future, and I guess we'll figure it out, but I... To be honest, I didn't really expect it. You're supposed to. You know, I've been working for this for such a long time. I just didn't... I don't know. I knew you'd get accepted because you're smart, but... I didn't think it would come down to this. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We'll see each other again, right? Just gotta trust, just trust the process. It's okay. I love you. Just come and find me, please, okay? I will. Okay, it's time. You know, love is crazy. How can someone love someone so much but hurt them so bad in the end? 
I guess it's because love is such a weird emotion. To hurt it, it's like, it's like your whole being. And when someone hits it, oh, it's like everything around it just stops working. I really felt that with my first love with Quinn, and I think that's why I waited so long to get back into dating. I just missed her. I didn't want anything. I didn't want anything but just to get back to how things were with her, and when I couldn't, I found a girl that didn't want to take anything too fast and just loved me. And also, she said she'd never leave me, and when I heard that, I felt like I just had to jump at that opportunity. Sophie was such a lovely person, but just like everyone, she had her skeletons, and little did I know, they'd really come back to haunt me. I thought that would have been a good segue into the next story, after this beautiful and heartbreaking scene and lovely speech about love. No? Well, I guess I'll just say, I wish I could see Sophie. Seems to have been working so far. What the heck is going on with this whole rewind thing? Just showing everyone my terrible mistakes. I guess you'll never see what happened with me and Sophie. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sophie. And uh, my friends kind of forced me to be here, so that's why I'm here. Well, thank your friends for me, because without them I wouldn't have met you, and that's quite a shame. Oh, I'm Tom, by the way. Yeah, I don't know why they make us wear these things, as if we're not going to introduce ourselves. I should have put something like Freddy Krueger or Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> That's funny. No, seriously. It's cool because you're the only person that hasn't been grilling me with all these weird and deep questions. One girl literally asked me, what's my blood type? Like, why do you need that information? Are you Dracula? <laughs> We're surrounded by weirdos. How do you know I'm not a weirdo? Should I ask you some weird questions so I'm not the odd woman out? Well, I'm an open book to you now, but uh, things have been going well so far, so don't make this whole speed dating thing out to be a flop. <laughs> well, in case. No, your phone. Oh. <laughs> Balls in your core now. No pressure. Thanks. Um, does that mean you're interested? Absolutely. Now tell me this though. What is a fun, attractive guy like you doing here? <laughs> I mean, like, how are you single? <laughs> That's a difficult question. Well, I guess it's because I'm too attractive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be honest. I was with a girl for a long time, and she had to leave for university, and. Um, you know, that really messed me up for a long time. And so my friends and family, they tried to sign me up for all these online apps. And, oh, it was a nightmare. Talk about weirdos. <laughs> well, thank you. And good for you for getting back out there. Oh, thanks. And I hope this isn't a whole flop. Because I hope I can be the one who didn't get away. Wow. Oh, that's my turn. It was nice to you. Call you. I will. What an amazing thing that was, right? Do you hear how she just commanded that spot? I know you're probably thinking it's too easy, but I guess when you put yourself out there, or, well, when people force you to put yourself out there and take a leap, sometimes it's a great thing. Other times it can really blow up in your face. <laughs> Some of you are probably seeing this thinking, this is a rebound or a backup. And maybe it was, but we had a lot of fun and it was spontaneous. And I remember getting home from work one time, we were getting ready to go on a date, and she shows up in my place in full lingerie. Whew. I mean, is that not every guy's dream? I mean, it wasn't just that. Like, we had a lot of honest and deep conversations, and I felt really comfortable with her. And I remember one time we were talking about our future, and she said, do you ever think about there's a future for us in like five years? Hmm. Why do you ask, Soph? Like marriage, white picket fence. I mean, I haven't exactly names for our kids, but I'm leaning towards Christopher and Rose. Why do you ask? Just wanted to know if there's a long future for us. Oh. There's a really long future. One that I'd even start making a reality right now if no, you. No, no, no. That's. That's, I don't want to win right now. Plus, it needs to be a surprise Tom. Oh, I know, babe. I'm telling you. 
I'm gonna make all your dreams come true. Well, what's wrong? Just tired. I'm gonna go lay down. You go back to work. All right, babe, uh, get some rest. Love you. I mean, I think I knew at that moment that I neither needed to commit fully or it was over. She seemed to have fallen out of love with me. I mean, seeing her act that way made me start to ask myself if it was me and I started trying really hard, but that only pushed her farther away. And she ended up fighting and we had this issue where my love just wasn't enough. I mean, we took a break after that and we got back later the same week, but that's when I caught her cheating and that's really when everything blew up. Well, wait, where are you going, babe? Where are you going this time? Out. Surprise! Oh Baby, what are you doing here? Well, I knew you guys were uh, back from vacation and I wanted to bring you something to show you how much I missed you. Oh my gosh, yellow, it's my favorite color. I know. Nice choice. I know. Hey, yeah. guess who's in the car? Who? Your little brother. <gasps> no, what is he doing? <laughs> he texted me this morning. He wants me to go oh. play basketball with him, so. Okay. Well, tell the kid to drink his chocolate milk and to take his bike. <laughs> He's all about that chocolate milk. He must have got that from you. Yes. Okay, hey, I can't stay long, okay. but uh, the rest of your directions are written clearly on my shirt. Feed me and tell me I'm pretty. Well, can I feed you with a kiss and tell you you're handsome instead? That works. I'll okay. write it into our contract. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, you enjoy your day. Um, text me around 6 p.m. if you want to get picked up. Okay, no worries. Okay, bye-bye. And baby, I promise I'll never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever leave you ever again, okay? Deal. Bye. And, uh, today I've had all these chances to repair things with all these relationships from my past, but there's that one that I just never get a chance to fix, and that's really that one thing that's just been holding me back and kind of keeping me in a loop. I mean, I know obviously she's gone, and she probably has a new love of her life by now, but I swear, if she was back, we'd obviously be married and have a lovely house, and Wait a second. Don't tell me this is one of these stupid rewind things where I just get a chance to relive all of my mistakes. This isn't funny. crazy. Um, I was wondering, like, are you... Am I seeing... No, actually, um, in fact, the last person I've been going out with or said I love you to was actually you. How about you? Are you seeing anyone? I haven't said I love you to anyone, um, but things have been pretty crazy. Oh. But um, I definitely miss you so much. I could barely contain myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can come closer if you want. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to tell you that mm. 
I'm still so much in love with you. I know, I feel that too. I'm so, so happy to hear that. I'm kind of so relieved as well. You know, now that I'm back, I well, think I'm... Now that you're back, maybe we could try to get things back to the way they were, because <laughs> time without you doesn't function the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. God, I've listened so much. I love you more. Find something better. I'm not gonna find anything better. I'm not even gonna be looking. You don't know that. Try to get things back to the way they were because <laughs> time without you doesn't function the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. God, I miss you so much. Cherish every moment you have. You're never gonna want life to just pass you by. Cherish the ones you love. Focus on the now and repair any mistakes you have at that time. So if you could go back and rewind time, you'd be pleased with what you see.